the image I have open here is called aerialforest.jpg and you'll find this in the info folder. So again, nothing particularly wrong with this image, but it could do with enhancing just to make it look a little bit better. It lacks what some people might call a bit of punch, a bit of contrast in other words. So we've got uh, these lovely autumnal colours of this forest, um, but down on the floor of the forest, it ought to look a little bit darker. So we want some richer, deeper black colours in there. And to do that, well, we need to start off by here, showing you the layers panel. And then we have what's called an adjustments panel. Now, really, the adjustments panel and the properties panel work in combination with one another. So I'm going to click on properties and then click and drag and pull that down just to here so that you see that thick horizontal blue line and then let go. And what I will allow you to do then is click on adjustments and you can see if you hover your cursor over the dividing line here, drag this up a little bit like so. We can see all the adjustments that we can add to our Photoshop layers panel and then anything underneath, well, the options are shown inside of the properties. So what we need to do first of all is add a brightness contrast adjustment, which is shown here if you hover over the symbols for brightness contrast, it's at the top left hand side, but the name will be shown at the top left of this dialog box for each of these particular adjustments. So if I hover over brightness contrast and then left click, notice now that if I just extend my layers panel, it's added it in here. So again, it's a separate layer completely where all the edits will be stored in there. It's not gonna be a permanent edit applied to the background layer. It is also then added in our properties panel, the options to modify this. And they couldn't be simpler in terms of Photoshop. They are just two sliders. You take your brightness slider or your contrast, you drag them left or right. Generally speaking, anything that you drag towards the right hand side will increase something. And then conversely over on the left hand side, dragging it in that direction will reduce a value. So, well, from here, if you're not quite sure what you think you should do, you can even go and click on the auto button up at the top right hand side and Photoshop will guess to make what you need to do. So click on that one and it will move the sliders for you. Now, my personal opinion is that's a little bit too aggressive. So I might just take the contrast sliders and reset these in here. So I'm going to set them back to zero for this one and then back here for this one as well. I would tend to think, let's start with contrast. If I drag the contrast to the left hand side, it's going to look very wishy-washy, kind of gray and not very exciting to look at. But if I keep dragging that contrast past zero to a positive value, then we'll start to increase the difference between the very brightest colors and the darkest colors, hence the contrast that it's adding in here. So now we've got some nice, darker, richer black colors in the gaps in those trees in there. Just looks a little bit better. I don't think I really need to play around with the brightness. If anything, maybe just add a little bit more contrast in there. Um, if at any time you want to have a, another go at this, you can always go down to the bottom to this little back spinny arrow, click on that, and then it will reset the options. And that will be the same for any one of the adjustments that you add in Photoshop. So again in here, drag this up to, I've got this to about sort of 50, 45 to 50 in here should be fine. Now, what I do want to show you is that, yes, those edits have been added to uh, an adjustment layer called brightness contrast. And it has the same symbol that we see here. If I turn that visibility icon off, those edits are locked into that layer. So you could delete that if you wish to. That's what it looked like before the image with just the background layer visible. But if I turn on that adjustment to apply it, then we can see our changes. The only thing I would say is take a look at the difference between the before and after. That was before. And that's after. Anytime you change the brightness of an image, you're affecting the intensity of color as well. So you can, for instance, go to what's called the blending mode, which is this field just here. It's always by default set to normal or what's called pass through. But if I click on that drop down menu, you can hover over these and they will preview what kind of effect you'll get. So it's just the way that it combines the two layers together. Now, in our case, what we need to do is choose luminosity. Luminosity will only change and affect the brightness of an image, and it will completely leave alone any of the color intensity in the image. So if I click on that luminosity, now that edit for brightness contrast literally only does change 
the brightness of the image and the contrast. The original colors are left intact. So that was before and that's after. So again, as I say, that blend mode menu can be really handy. Luminosity only affects the brightness of the image in this case and ignores colors. Again, before you close this document down, make sure you save it as a PSD in the working folder.